Welcome to another edition of 256 Seconds with .NET Dave. I'm .NET Dave, David McCarter, and I'm going to show you a really cool event I recently stumbled upon while I was getting my code ready to give the final version to one of my clients. I was going through my code and doing performance analysis and testing to make sure that my code wasn't throwing exceptions anywhere. Every time a customer data would be processed, it was throwing 300 exceptions in under a second. So I dug in and I found what code was actually causing it and brought it to their attention. And uh, I don't work for them anymore, <laughs> which is kind of funny. So I want to show you this really cool event that you really need to use in all of your applications. Here's some sample code to show you what I found in this customer's code. What I ended up finding out was they had a method in their assembly that they gave me is called isDate, which tested a date, of course. Now, I wasn't actually calling this method. They had some code in their assembly that was calling this method about 300 times in under a second. I basically mimicked their code because I can't show it to you legally. I'm just going to run through this 300 times and call this is date with an invalid date. Let's see what that looks like. So you can see we ran through this 300 times and it took 2175 milliseconds. As you can see, there's no exceptions happened. If there was an exception, it would have gone back into the debugging mode. It seems like everything's working fine. So I was going to submit my code to them because my code wasn't throwing any exceptions. I wasn't seeing any exceptions. No exceptions were being logged. So I thought everything was okay. Everything wasn't okay. I came across this really cool method that I've never heard of. I'm going to show it to you here. It's called app domain, current domain, first chance exception. So what this method does basically trap any exceptions that happen from any assembly within the app domain. So the cool thing with this is if it doesn't matter if you have the code or you don't have the code, this will actually show you the exceptions. You just create this event, a current domain first chance exception. And down here in current domain first chance exception, I'm just logging the exception. Let's run the exact same code with first chance exception enabled. Wow, look, there's exceptions happening. There's 300 exceptions happened happening. It took about the same time because it was actually doing the same thing. So I discovered all these exceptions. Every time something would be processed through this customer DLL, I was seeing these 300 exceptions happening under a second. I was going, okay, well, where's it coming from? I looked all over my code. I didn't see anything. It was coming from their assembly. And I'm going to show you the code that I wrote that mimicked what they did. I'm going to use my favorite tool, Reflector. And in this assembly, I have here's the method is date. So if I expand and I look at the is date, you can see here that what they're doing is they're doing a try catch and throwing the string into a date time dot parse. And if an exception happened, then of course it's false. If it didn't happen, then it's true. And this was written by a senior software engineer. So this is bad, bad, bad. So what is the right way to test if the date is okay? So here's basically the same method. And what I'm doing is something newer in .NET, datetime.tryParse. And what this will do is this will return a true or false if the date was parsed. So I'm just writing that true or false out to the console window. So let's see how this runs. Wow, look at this. We ran through it the same number of time in only 109 milliseconds. So you can see the, the performance problem you have in testing anything with doing a try catch. Make sure you add app domain, current domain, first chance exception to all of your applications so you can make sure there's no exceptions happening anywhere in your application domain. Don't forget to log exceptions. Very, very important tip. There you go. Well, make sure you put that event in all of your applications, not in your DLLs. And I hope to see you next time on 256 Seconds with .NET Dave. Don't forget to check out one of my conference talks coming to a city near you in the .NET Dave Rocks the Nation Tour. See you next time.